Now then, welcome to the channel and the Lake District again. And today we're in the Southern Fells. We're parked here at Burke's Bridge in the Duddon Valley, which is actually in the middle of nowhere. We've had a right, a right journey to get here. But we're here, it's looking like a glorious morning. And the intention is to go up into the Coniston Fells. We're gonna go up past Seathwaite Tarn, then up to Goat's Hawes, and then from there, we're not heading up to Coniston Old Man. We're going over to Brimfell, then Swirl House, Great Cars, and back down over Greyfriar. So let's have a quick look at the route. Well, this is a nightmare coming through this tangle of fallen trees. I'm not even sure if we're, if we're on the right path now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh. On we go. Well, that was a bit of a rubbish start to the walk and it's going to be a bit of a rubbish end as well because there's no avoiding that on the way back. Um, now, from what I remember from last time I was here, I think it was about 2014, 2015, something like that. I think round by Seathwaite Town, it gets a bit wet. And I think last time, I think it was a bit pathless coming down off Grey Friar as well. So we'll we'll see. Uh, it's quiet anyway. It's wet already, but it's quiet. Right on we go. Oh, 
and the light on the hills is is glorious at the moment and that's looking over to Cor and Stickle Pike and then Harterfell now just to the left of Harterfell is Green Crag now when we did that Boxing Day last year when we came up on the on Lyle Ratty I forgot to record that so Charlie's records were all worn out so when I did a video about his 150th Wainwright that was actually his 151st <laughs> his 150th was the one we did prior to that which was Troutbeck Tongue but he's he's up to speed now he's only got 46 to do so I've planned out the next few walks we've got 25 walks to do that will complete the Wainwrights for Charlie and then if you look over there I'll see if I can zoom in a bit you can see there's Scarfell and Scarfell Pike with a dusting of snow on them excellent so I wonder if there'll be I wonder if there'll be any snow on Coniston Old Man not that we're going up there right on we go So here we are at Seathwaite Tarn. It's glorious up here, isn't it? And my original plan was to go across the dam and round on the, the far side of the tarn. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick to this side. This is the, the way I went last time I was here. So I think I'll just stick to this side rather than go right round. Ah. Done in place to ourselves as well. Right on we go. So we've left Seathwaite Tarn behind there, you can see over my shoulder. So we head on up to the, the top of the valley here, then we pick a path up that goes off to the right and up to Goat's Hawes, and then from there up to Brimfell. And it's glorious here now, there's not a soul around, and it's stunning. That view back over the, the town there is glorious. Right, so we'll get to the top of the valley and then we start the first kind of major steep bit of the day up to Goat's Hawes. I'll see you in a bit. So we've reached the head of the valley and we need to get across this stream now while remaining reasonably dry. Hmm. That could be easier said than done. <laughs> I mean, there is a path marked on the OS map that goes straight up there. We're not doing that. Our route goes up that way by the side of that gilt. That is, of course, 
as long as we can get over there. Hmm. Right. We'll hopefully see you on the other side. It's still rather dry. See you in a bit. Well, we made it over the stream. Perfectly dry. And then I went calf deep in bog just after it. So the, the detail that we took to stay dry was a waste of time. So now we've started the climb up by this stream here, up into Goat Halls. And I think when we get up there, we might start meeting some people. Ah, right, upwards. So we're nearly at Goat's Halls and there's loads of people around. <laughs> but hopefully the most of them will be either on the way up or down the old man. And we're not doing that today. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna be a complete tourist. Plus we're doing Dow Crag and the old man from the Walner Scar car park. So yeah, we'll be being a complete tourist that day. But for today, we're now going up to Brimfell. And I can only see two people going up that way. Right, we'll see you in a bit. I just showed you a view there looking over goat's water. I wasn't hanging around down there. God, the place was heaving. Fortunately now though, we've, we've branched off towards Brimfell and there's nobody coming up this way. <sighs> oh, and the views are stunning. I look over me, me head there towards Hatterfell. And then I can't see for the sun now, but I think you're looking at the Scar Fells there. Marvellous. Ah, absolutely stunning. All right, on we go to Brimfell. Well, we've had to come off piste a bit and zigzag our way straight up here. I was that busy gawping around at the views. I wasn't paying attention to where we were going and that path that we were on, it was going to take us down below the summit of Brimfell. So we're just off piste up here. There's a bit of snow on the ground which Charlie's tucking into. I hope it's not yellow snow. <laughs> right, we'll probably see you when we get to the top of Brimfell. So here we are, top of Brimfell, and it's absolutely stunning. I'll take some photos so you can see. Oh, it's up, I mean, the Scarfell range looking that way, absolutely magnificent. And you can see right over to Isle of Man that way. Oh, it's absolutely glorious. You can probably make out the, the crowds there, like ants on the top of the old man. I'm not looking forward to doing that. It's got to be done for Charlie though. So that'll be over, over Dow Crag. That way. Uh, and then the old man. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a walk while we're in the crowds most of the day. Will that? See over Morecambe Bay down there. Yeah, stunning. Right, I'll take some photos and then we'll head off to uh, well, how? So we'll see you in a bit.
So we've dropped down into Leavers Halls. And that there, that's looking over Leavers Water. Down to Coniston and Coniston Water. And we're going up there. If we look the other side of the halls, you can see Harter Fell coming into view there. That's Greyfriar, our route back. And then that's looking down over Seathwaite Tarn, where we came up this morning. Ah, stunning. And then the other side of Seathwaite Tarn is Burke Fell. And that's our, our route home, the road over Burke Fell is where we're heading home. And this morning, the, the sun coming over there, right in your face. And I think it might be the same going back. I think the sun's going to be over there on our way back. Right, so on we go up here towards Swirl Howe and Great Cars. So we're approaching the final little stretch to the top of Swirl Howe. Look at that view behind me there, looking over Leavers Water and Coniston. Absolutely stunning, it's a glorious day. The views are amazing. No haze at all, well, until you until you get over that way and Isle of Man is a bit hazy but oh it's absolutely glorious and you can just make you won't be able to see on here but you can see over there to Yorkshire I can just make out Ingleborough which is always good to see <laughs> right final ascent of Swirl How and look at that view over Weatherlam Oh, it's a stunning day, absolutely fantastic. And Leavers Water, Coniston Water, Morecambe Bay, there's Brimfell, the old man, Dow Crag, Seathwaite Tarn, Harterfell, our return route over Greyfriar, and the Scarfells. So we've just done Swirl How. I want to stay up there. There's a few people around there. A few stopped for the lunch. We'll wait until we get over to Grey Friar, I think, where it's going to be a bit quieter. But uh, I can't get over the views today. It's absolutely glorious. It's stunning. Right, down we go. So this is the old Halifax Bomber Memorial, just below the summit of Great Cars. Poignant, seen as it's Remembrance Day today. Right, on we go up there. So that's great cars done. That's looking over Weatherlump. And that's down towards Tilberthwaite. And then looking right over to Helvellyn with some snow on. And right over to the Northern Fells. And then Bowfell, the Scarfells. Scarfell just getting a bit of cloud on it there. And then we're heading down there over Greyfriar and there's, there's a load of people up there as well yeah, well it's about lunchtime so we'll drop down off here and get some lunch so we'll see you in a bit
that's the last hill of the day done. Grey Friar. And we've still got hope. Oh, nearly. Hey dear. We've still got stunning views. I mean, look at that behind me over to the Scarfells. It's glorious. And right round, if I go right round, you can see where we've been over Brim Fell. You can see Dow Crag as well. Oh, it's glorious. Right, so we're going to head on down from here. I think last time I was here we had, we had a bit of trouble route finding on our way down. I think we pretty much just follow the ridge. Glorious. Right, we'll see you on the way down. Well, it's pathless coming down here, but it's quiet. Not a soul around. I think most people, when they do Greyfriar, they do it as a like an out and back from Swirl House. But no, it's it's easy going. It's short, short grass. It's quite dry. It's not that steep. Just Charlie and the sheep for companies. <laughs> oh, we're loving it. Not looking forward to that section on the way back through them blooming trees that have blown down. Oh, that was a nightmare. I might see if we can avoid them. I think there is a path that goes off before we get to them that takes you down to the road. And we could walk along the road a bit back to the car park. I'll have to have a look at map when we get down there. Right, so down we go. Well, quite unexpectedly, we've picked up a path, which is handy. See down there to Seathwaite Tarn, where we were all them hours ago. <laughs> we've loved it, it's been brilliant. And well, from Goat's Hawes to the top of Greyfriar was a bit overpopulated for us really. But, I mean, the views have been absolutely stunning. The weather's been great. And now there's, there's nobody around now at all. So we're back in our happy place. Right, downwards. Well, it turns out that this path was the intended route. Trained navigator, you see. <laughs> at it again. What I'd done, I looked at the plot of the, the track that we actually walked last time we, we were up here. And I'd put at the, the top there the waypoint of where we actually started to descend. And it's spot on this, this path. So <laughs> We're going the right way. I'm still going to see if I can find another route back to avoid them trees though. I think we can. I think there's a path that takes us onto the road. Oh, it's stunning though, that's, that's where we went this morning. I can't get over this, I mean look, it's, just look at it. The sun going down there over the Irish Sea. Ah, and the place to ourselves. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. There we go. So I think what we can do is rather than going up through all them fallen trees, that farm that you can see there, I think that's Trout Hall, and there's a footpath goes to that. And the footpath stops at the farmhouse. Well there's just a short track from there to the road. So I think that's what we'll do rather than go up through all them fallen trees. That was a nightmare on the way down. Right, down we go. So 
So we're on the diversionary route. Uh, it's not been bad at all. It was a bit, bit wet and vague back there. But, you know, we're on the, the track that leads us to the road now. So we've only, well, I think less than half a mile to go. So I'm going to sign off. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a brilliant time. I mean, if you want a, a quiet route, sort of most of the way up to Old Man of Coniston, then that's a great way. I mean, we never saw a soul from leaving the car to get into Goat's Halls and then coming back down from the top of Grey Friar. We didn't see anybody until we got down to Seathwaite Tarn and there was a couple over on the, the dam, but they were well away from us. So now it's been great. The views have been absolutely stunning. Utterly stunning views. Absolutely breathtaking. So yeah, it's been good. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do the usual. Liking, subscribing, ringing the notification bell, commenting, sharing, and hopefully see you on the next one. Tra!